Hey YouTube, it's Engineer Pat 5290 coming to you live with an unboxing video. Just got a little package here uh, addressed to me, and I think it's the rare, the Operation Lifesaver belt buckle I ordered off of eBay. Let's take a dive in. Is this here? I love when stuff comes in the mail. Let's see what's in here first. Okay, just some packaging. Indeed it is! It's my brand new Operation Lifesaver belt buckle. Isn't that pretty? I'm sure a lot of YouTubers right now are saying, Ooh! Ah! I happen to see this on eBay. And I said to myself, I cannot resist. I have got to get it. But uh, this is a really, really nice um, bubble. Oh, this is solid brass too, buddy. Man, that is stunning. Wow. Man, I love it already. I just thought I would share this with you guys real quick of just what's come in recently. Um... Happened to get this in the mail today. I was expecting it to maybe come this coming week. But the seller got out the door for me, so. Um, Operation Lifesaver is a good organization. I happen to see a locomo one with a locomotive on it. But that one got sold, but the second best one was this one. I had never had an Operation Lifesaver belt buckle. It's a good organization, non-profit organization. And they do a lot of good things of promoting safety along railroad rights of way. Um, I'm glad that the organization has been established and also trying to promote safety. And that's important. So I will wear this belt buckle with pride. And, you know, just every time you look at one of these belt buckles or Operation Life Center logo, you think to yourself, what should I do when a train, when a train approaches? Remember, look, listen, and live. The three L's. So I just thought I would share this with you guys real quick. I have an abandoned an abandoned rail series video again. This time is on the old Virginia. Let me explain about that real quick. Uh, that video uh, I wasn't able to get so far back to because a lot of it has been covered up by Mother Nature. I was only able to get where um, where 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 I could see it really really good. Uh, there are some other parts of it, but they're just buried deep back there. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do too much of that. But I'll see if I can try to get another couple of areas in there before too long. So uh, that, let me explain more about it. It was um, part of the old Virginian. It used to cross the seaboard back in, back at least 60, 60 70 years ago. When the Virginia was bought by the Norfolk and Western in 1959, that portion of the line had been abandoned. Um, the only part, one of the very few parts of the old Virginia that are still active on NS is Bridge 7. And I've explained about Bridge 7 a lot. I will do a separate video on that. I just thought I would give you guys a little bit of background information because I did not do that in the video. I just want you guys to see what was left. So, anyway, that's all the stuff I have. I wish I had more, though, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys are enjoying my Abandoned Rail series. So, thank you all very much for watching. I'm Engineer Pat, and I will see you next time.